Measures of center. Now, in case you wonder what measures of center are, a really good example of this is when you're in a class and everyone's done a test. Sometimes people want to know what the middle mark is or the center mark or the average mark of the classes because people want to know if they're above average or below average or if they're just average. And this is what measures of center are all about. And there's three ways we calculate this. One's mean, one's median, and one's mode. The mode is not usually a good indicator of center. It's only used in a few cases. Mean and median we find a lot more useful in most cases. All right, but they all have their place. Let's get right into it. We're going to calculate the mean, median, mode twice for each one, one for each data set. So we'll start with question A. Actually, we'll do the mean for both of them. The mean is where you add up the numbers. Sorry, I'm trying to find my pen here. So we go mean is where you add the numbers up. So should we put an arrow there because we're not really saying it equals this. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1. Let's see what that equals. That's going to be 3, 5. That'll be 10. All right. So you start by adding them up. And then after adding them up, you divide the 10 by how many numbers you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to 5, 5 equals 2. So 2 is your mean. It's also known as your average. Most people have heard the word average. Average and mean are the same thing. Okay, so let's find the mean for question B. So first of all, we'll add our numbers up. 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 9 plus 12 plus 3 plus 7. Let's work that out. We've got about 15, 19, 20, 3, 7. I got 50. Oh, that's a nice whole number. So when you add them up, you get 50. And then you take your 50 and divide it by how many numbers I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 50 divide 8 is 6.25. And that's quite fine to get a decimal. Mean is quite commonly, mean will quite commonly give you a decimal solution. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll find the median. So we've done mean, median now. And median quite often is as a very similar solution. Median. All right. So in order to find the median, the first thing you do is you put your numbers in order. So we go 1, 1, 2, 2, 4. So we, we've taken the two 1s, the two 2s, and the 4s. And then the median means, once it's in order, find the middle number, which in this case is 2. So as we can see, the mean and the median are the same for question A. And that happens quite often, or at least get very close. Uh, for question B, we need to put them in order again. I'm going to say 3, 3, 4, 4. So 3, 3, 4, 4, 7, 8, 9, and 12. Okay, so we put them in order. The problem being that the middle is actually halfway between two numbers. See how we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 on the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the right. So the median is halfway between 4 and 7. And when that happens, what you have to do is you just go, all right, add my numbers up, so 4 plus 7, and I'm going to put it in brackets so I know to add them up first, and then divide by 2. And in this case, you'll get 5.5. So we've had a median of 5.5 and a mean of 6.25. Once again, notice that they're reasonably close. Mean and median will usually turn out pretty similar. It's the mode that's a little different. All right, so if we look at question A. The mode is actually really easy to find because the mode is just the most common number. And in question A, in fact, we've got two common numbers, both 1 and 2 are the common numbers here. And when that happens, we actually say that's that's called bimodal. Bimodal because you've got two, two modes. Alright, and we'll fit the mode in here for question B. 
uh, let's see, we've got two threes, two fours. This one's bimodal as well. So the mode is three and four because it's bimodal. All right. Now, just some little tricks to help you memorize these. You might notice I've written median and I've underlined the M and the D in the first and third place, which funnily enough, you get the same letters in the word middle. So median means middle. And mode, which starts with MO, most is the most common number, and most also starts with MO. So that's a really good method to memorize uh, what these two words mean.